Welcome to the 100 Baby Challenge Part 96. And in this episode, we're going to check these kids' grades. They got A, so we get to age them up. Okay, cool. That's what we're going to do first. I have so many pieces of paper with summaries on them that, like, for 100 Baby Challenge, different pages, because I write down summaries. I even wrote down summaries all the way to the end of 100 Baby Challenge. Okay, um, 96. Okay. We are on 96, right? This is 96. Oh, yeah. Lex and Manchard age up. Zeb give birth, gives birth to Reginald and Stanley. And goes on another date with Twisty. Awesome. That's part. This is part. Okay, cool. Oh. I can't believe this. Last night, it took me till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish the 100 Baby Challenge. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I completed the 100 Baby Challenge. <laughs> Oh, videos are being edited as I speak right now. I mean, like I said, the format for when I record videos through Sims, use their video recorder, it's not the right format for my uh, video editor, so I have to go through Handbrake to, um, I forgot, forgot what you call it, <laughs> for a moment. Uh, to uh, to reformat it, I think to MP4. That way, my ha that way my video editor can recognize MP4. So it's gotta go through that whole process of reformatting uh, my AVI files because my power Dir Cyberlink Power Director does not like AVI files for some reason. I don't know, but it doesn't like it doesn't like AVI. So I have to reformat it. MP4, so I have to go through Handbrake to do all, reformat every freaking video clip. So that's it takes a while. So um, I can't believe I finished the hundred baby challenge <laughs> off screen. So you won't see those videos yet, okay? You will not see them. See that video, but I will tell you. By the time you do see the last baby being born. By the time you see that, won't be until, until the 24th of next month. <laughs> By the time you see that video of me completing the 100 Baby Challenge, won't be until the 24th of next month. Oh man. Because that's how, because uh, right now I'm on um, 96. And the video goes to 144. There's like 144 episodes, and we're on 96 right now. So just think about that. If I'm doing one to two videos of this 100 Baby Challenge a day, oh my gosh. I just still can't believe I completed it. <laughs> it's exhausting. Before I do the second season, which is it's called 200 Baby Challenge, I got to do some more research on the mod, the 100 Baby Challenge mod, the Aspiration. I get to do more research on that before I even do it. So, I still can't believe I completed it. Oh my gosh. It was exhausting. What fun. So, what will I do next? Well, I'll find out at the end of the month when taking another break from playing. So, Zoe also wants to play. I put her in a tutorial mode because it looks like it'd be easier for her to learn that way. So she did a gameplay like it was like thirty minutes. I wasn't sure she wants to turn it into a series or not. So she said no. That's just her first gameplay. She's just trying it out. So, but she will want to make her own series. So she wants to create new characters and make her own series. You will see that next month. Uh, sometime next month. Not sure when. I still want to work on, uh, Runalized and try to get some more Super Challenge. Try to get another episode of the Super Challenge 
Get up to 96. I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna make any promises, but I'm gonna try. It's just this last part of the Super Sim Challenge. It's hard! Especially the city native, the city native one mostly, because he's got to go to a human hygiene festival, and nobody's inviting him. So I don't know when this crap is. So I, I usually go by when uh, somebody invites him. So somebody would technically invite him. There's always somebody inviting Sims to do stuff. Like when my Sims are like, say, writing or painting. Or, learning guitar or something, there will be a Sim contacting you to want to hang out. I'm not going to lie. Always. See, like this, the Spice <laughs> Festival. There's there's always going to somebody. Why would Zev want to go to a Spice Festival during her kid's birthday party? Yeah, like She's going to ditch her kid's birthday party for a Spice Festival. Not going to happen. I should really pay attention to... um. What's on the corner of my screen where it says, oh, it's a Spice Festival or Humor Hunting Festival or Romance Festival or Flea Market or something. It's like, I gotta pay attention to that. I haven't. I've been just looking down at the user interface and see if anybody calls and ask and wait for an invite, pretty much. Still can't believe I completed the 100 Baby Challenge. <laughs> The first challenge I ever completed and succeeded at. Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a thing for me. <laughs> I usually don't complete things. I did complete my last, well, almost. I completed the beginning series. In 2018 series. No, 2019. Now, the 2019 Rumor series, I gotta. I gotta. It's my chance to redo some of the things I messed up in 2018. There's a lot of things I messed up in 2018. And I gotta fix that in 2019, so... Yeah, that's not gonna be fun. Uh, 200 baby challenge. Oh my gosh. I still can't believe I'm about to do that. But I gotta do more research on the... The person who made the mod, the Hunter Baby Challenge Aspiration mod. Yeah, I'll do more research on that before I do it. So, because I want to use it. I want to try it out. Look at all this genealogy. Oh my gosh, there's so many people there. I can't believe Zeb's parents are old. They're old as dirt. They're going to die soon, I don't know. I know it sounds morbid to say, but, you know, it's Sims. I could bring them back. Zev always comes back as a, as a prodigy to these next challenges, man. Seriously. Zev always comes back. <laughs> I do bring Kai back. I do bring Stan Stanley back in a way. Uh, like, yeah, obviously. Um... Yeah, because they're born. Uh, like, Reginald and Stanley, yeah, they're born. So, yeah, kind of, I kind of brought them back. Actually, I do bring back the, the original priest. I, I do bring them back, though. With Bunny. Somebody wants to see Zeb and Bunny together. I kept meaning to do that, but I keep forgetting to do that. Hopefully, with the 200 Baby Challenge, this next set will. With fifth generation set. With an X. Or one with four generations, one with a Z. Um, Zoe was talking to me last night. She's like, what's the... I'm like, how do you pronounce Zeb? I mean, how do you pronounce it with an X? It's like, Zoe. Uh, it's pronounced the same way as Zeb with a Z. That's all I can say. You really can't pronounce Zeb with an X. Like, she tried to pronounce it with an X. <laughs> it's like, no, just pronounce it as if it was spelled with a Z. Because that's technically what they want. She actually can't. 
She is like, just wants to know the difference between the two gems. And I had to try to explain her that um, the actress couldn't do couldn't do the role anymore, so they had to replace her in some in some way with a different Zeb, a different actress to play Zeb. So they need to figure out how to bring in the new Zeb, like regeneration. You know, I think it's pretty cool. But it's sad that we went from one Zeb to another that the other Zeb had to die first, but. <gasps> I'd like to know what the series would have been like if Ava Haberman stayed in her role. Hmm. That's a very good question. It also would have been interesting. I do like it. This is Seabird, though. Don't get me wrong. I like both apps. So, why do you have a... Why does Manfred have a bald spot? Isn't he like a teenager? He's like that one teenage boy in um, the Crawford series. It's like a Canadian show, I think. And there was this teenage, his teenage brother, and was going start going bald or something. This is remind this 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 teen here reminds me of. Also, as I was playing the fourth generation, it's coming to an end. One of the children, uh, looked like Bronson Twins from Round the Twins. I kid you not, and that was not intentional. <laughs> if anybody remembers around the twins, that was that that show. I I that was funny. <laughs> me and, me and um, Zoe last night, because we were talking about one of the episodes I was did for the for first generation where Zev went to the went to a dance party and Prince was dancing in his underwear and we had and I named it and I titled it without my pants and there's and I and I referenced it to the show to the episode and round the twist titled without my pants we watched it together and Zoe could not stop laughing <laughs> I couldn't la stop laughing either that was funny where Pete Twist was going <laughs> he said without my pants <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> that was my favorite. That, that actually is my favorite episode. <laughs> Seriously, one of the kids in the fourth generation, toward the end, though, toward the end, I think like V or something, uh, looks like Bronson twins. <gasps> Not intentional. <laughs> Uh, uh, anyways, um, so birthday party is over. You got everybody doing their homework. Well, at least Manfred is doing his homework. Is he, uh, Lex, are you doing your homework? Norb, how about you? Are you doing your homework? Is that Norb, right? That is Norb. Yeah, Norb. Norb, you better be doing your homework. I hope he did his homework, did he? I guess so. Not Norb. I got so many names. I'm getting confused. I'm confusing myself from recording commentary for this generation. And then finally finishing pre the pre-record for the fourth generation. So while I was pre-recording for fourth generation... I was recording commentary for the third generation and getting everybody mixed up. Like the, the, all the kids' names, mostly. Or I go into this house and thinking, okay, where's the fourth generation at? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait, this is the third generation. <laughs> the fourth generation isn't born yet. <laughs> wow. This goes on till episode 106. 
So, ten more episodes of this generation. And there will be 38 episodes of the fourth generation. Wow. That's a lot of episodes. Is she going to have her babies? You know, speaking of these congratulations when the child is born, it's not just Zeb's kids that pop up. You gotta name 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 your own kids. But everybody, I don't know what happened to my game toward the end of the fourth generation when I get a notification like this with every child born in the game, and I have to name them. Like, what the heck? How did that even happen? Like, not just my kids, when Zeb's kids when they're born. Not not in this generation, but toward the end of the the whole series in general, the fourth generation. I have to pick Nate. I get notifications when every other child is born in my game. Like, NPC characters. And I have to name them. These come with first names. I'm like, Why? They're not my kids. What do I care? Why do I have to name everybody else's kids that are born? It's like, I don't want to do that. So when I'm doing something, and I get notifications that like 10 Sims are being born at once. I don't care about everybody else's Sims. I'm here about my Sims. And I don't, and these are non playable characters. And I get notifications of their kids being born. Like, sorry about that. I was in the middle of a conversation with myself here, and uh, I get a phone call, and it interrupts my commentary. Because when I use my voice recorder on my phone, and somebody calls me, my voice recorder stops. It was like this robo call, like, seriously? I don't have a student loan. I never went to college. So who cares? I know it's a scheme because I, yeah. I don't have a student loan and I never went to college. So there's that. Here's your theory. Uh, I couldn't afford college. So I wanted to. I I wanted to go to film school, but can't afford it. I couldn't afford it now anyway. So, um. Anyways, I'm trying to get back to this without being interrupted again. It calls me because when I use my voice recorder on my phone, when somebody calls me, it stops. My I stop. It stops recording, and my video's still playing that I'm trying to record record commentary for. And my voice recorder will stop. Will stop. Like, oh my gosh, really? I, I hate when people interrupt me like that. When people call me, I mean, stupid I'm robo so calls. Cute. Okay, we're here trying to pick up more guys. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> what better way to meet guys is to go to the gym? I know that's stereotypical, but. There are guys at gyms. But when I got here, there are more girls than there are guys. So, <laughs> so are there's hardly anybody here. So, yeah, there's just women here. Good luck, Zeb. Why are you taking pictures of me, dude? I ain't taking pictures to last you longer. <laughs> Maybe she makes you make a selfie book. Like I can make them. I can make a ton of money. Ton of money by selling my selfies in a book. Wish I could do that, <laughs> but nobody would buy it. Because I'm not famous. 
Like, who would actually buy a book of someone else's face? Or just multiple pictures of somebody else's face. <laughs> no, not me. Anybody. Anybody. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> uh, Zeb is only famous because she's a painter. She's not an actress or nothing. She's just a famous painter. Her mother was a famous writer. And Zeb herself is a famous painter. I want to have a Zeb that's a famous actress. But since can't have John. Maybe I should just cheat a little bit for my second... See, I already did a hundred baby challenge, so I don't think it matters what I do for the second season. Just one to be an actress, because I'm trying to create a moment where Zeb is an actress for a little bit in the episode Survivor. I'm trying to create that moment, okay? And Zeb needs to have... A job as an actor to become a famous actor. She can't become a famous actor if she can't go do it as a job. If you don't have a job, you can be a famous painter, you can be a famous writer, you can be a uh, famous musician, famous comedian. A famous singer. What else can you be famous for? Famous YouTuber. <laughs> Seriously, if I have a sitting that's a fa famous YouTuber and they're famous before me, yeah, I'm going to wonder what my life is really about. If I can't be a famous YouTuber, why should my sim be a famous YouTuber? I don't, I don't, I want to know what they're doing right and I'm doing wrong. Hanging out with family. Why did that end so soon? Just hanging out with family. Like, you're supposed to hang out with family for like a couple hours or something and then that disappears. Because her brother asked her to hang out. And then... Now they're... Now they're how did they know where Zeb was going to be? How did everybody know where Zeb was going to be? Was it a trap set up by her brother, Wesley? You set this up, didn't you? You knew there was going to be a lot of people. You called up a lot of people here to get exposure. So look at my famous sister. She's going. I'm inviting her to the park right now. She'll be here in a hot second. And I'll take. And then she gets ambushed as soon as she arrives. It's like, dang it, Wesley. You know what? Whatever. I'll just get my pictures taken. Whatever. <laughs> Should take the opportunity to get noticed. <laughs> She's leaving. Because her dad invited her. Wait, that's not her dad. I keep thinking of the fourth generation. That's not her dad. Her dad is Stanley Tweedle. She's on a date. She she decides to go on a date with Twisty. Aww. You know the fourth generation? I kind of spoiled it a little bit. The fourth? She's proposing to Twisty. Of course he said yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like Twisty. He's so cool. I was dreaming about Twisty last night. Not like that. What I mean is, there was a. Con I was dreaming about going to con a convention and dressing up as Twisty at a convention. Okay, so I got my Twisty makeup and costume and everything, and 
a dream about going to a con and dressing up like Twisty again. Because I haven't been able to done so in over a year. I bet twisting right now is irrelevant. <sighs> but whatever, you know, just twisty and Zeph. Because here's the thing: the reason I got confused, because thinking that twi- that those two were related, yeah, is because Navy, Twisty Navy, is going to father the next prodigy. Uh, Navy, <laughs> there, I said it. Twisty's going to father the next prodigy. Ready to see what a child of Twisties look like as the next prodigy? Ready to see Zev what she'll look like with Twisties jeans? I am. <laughs> I already know. So. Seriously, she really needs to stop following Zev around. You ever heard of privacy? Can you just leave these two lovebirds alone? Dude, you were. These paparazzi. You are so rude. You paparazzi are so rude. Go away. Like, seriously. Look at these two people have their romantic time alone. Oh my gosh. Dude, paparazzi has no shame. They have no chill. It's like, oh, you trying to cut a rug with your new man? Let's get a picture of it. Can you stop following them? Nobody, can, nobody follow them. And she goes back in there. Why? Talk to people you don't know. Oh, because she's a fan. She'll pass up Twisty for a fan. Get a selfie with a fan. That's more important than your date. <laughs> really, Zev? Really? This is what I don't like. When Zev is marrying Twisty... Uh, when it's time to cut the cake, she's supposed to take a serving and give a serving to her husband, right? That's how you, uh, cut the cake. You go, it's between you and your husband, and you share a piece. When they get married, Zeb eats the whole damn slice. <laughs> she doesn't give anything to Twisty. She just eats the whole damn slice. She don't care. She got no chill either. <laughs> what is it? She's like, Twisty, get your own. She don't share a slice with her husband, like, traditionally, when you cut the cake. You two share a slice. You two share a bite. But in this case, even in the... They don't. Zeb does not share a slice or a bite of cake with Twisty. When they're married. Why? I tried to get her to do it, and she won't do it. There's some... She'd rather be talking to other people and eating the cake. She's just thinking about herself, as always. I'll get to that episode soon. Eventually. I'm spoiling a little bit. And you'll see my reaction to it. Well, more, more like hear my reaction to it. Axawa. Skiba Glosh. You know, I have neighbors. If they ever wonder why I'm sick of hearing me talking to myself, is how I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I do commentary. It's like, oh, are you live? No. <laughs> I uh, do commentary for pre for my pre recorded videos. I'm not live. <laughs> I wish. Just on YouTube. If I'm ever going to go live, it'll be on YouTube. I'll do Twitch. Or whatever else you could do live stream on. I just do YouTube. But yeah, like I said, if I ever do ever do live stream, it'll be YouTube. I mean, I so thought about it, but I got such crappy internet. Dang it! What the heck? These two people are so rude. Zeb is trying to have a conversation with Twisty. And here's these two. Like, oh, you're talking to your boyfriend. Like I care. She don't care about Zeb. She's talking trash about Zeb and Twisty. Did she just sit there and talk trash about the poop to their face? Then go away when you don't like them. 
Seriously, go away. You're not relevant. Go away. If you don't like Seven Twisty, go away. Twisty. I'm going to give him some fame. I gave Twisty some fame. Right there and then. It's okay to cheat Twisty. Other characters. I say Twisty. Well, yeah, it's Twisty Toe. I'm, I could seriously cheat other characters to give him fame. But not Zev. Not my main character. My main character can't cheat. But the others can. Now, oh, Twisty is famous. Not to need to go away. This is supposed to be a date. Thank you. Now, you old lady, you two go away. This is a date. You're talking trash to Zev. You're talking trash about Zev the Twisty? Really? She likes Twisty, but talking trash about Zev. Really, go away. This is a date. Thank you. You are not relevant in the first place. Trying to have a date here. If you don't like it, you can kiss my butt. Pack up lunch, whatever. <laughs> yeah, get a picture together. Oh, they'd like that selfie. Oh, not you. That's one of her exes. Oh, wait, is it? Is that one of her exes? Or they're soon to be ex. I can't remember. I can't keep up with all of them. I was watching um, Sim Supplies channel. He was doing the second generation. I mean, the second season of of a uh, of a uh, Super Sim Challenge, and his character was at the. Of Max Powers at the gym. And it's one of the fans, you know, they get excited, they faint. One of them fainted through the wall. <laughs> How does that even work? That must hurt, really. How do you faint through the wall unless they're ghosts? <laughs> oh my gosh, that must be weird. Okay, they're on a date. Go away. One of them, the one with the long ponytail, that's her. I thought that was her sister. Because one of her sisters have long hair like that. You all need to go away. Mind your business. Do not insert yourself. You make it things awkward. People insert themselves in the conversation and make it awkward. Anyways, we're coming to the end of this episode. So stay tuned for part 97. It's more of the Super Sim Challenge coming up. So like, subscribe, you want to see more content. Ah, oh, dag dag. Zupal.